So this is Baruch Fleischman here, and we have got going the final shear for this week on Parshas MR. And I went a little bit different, and I'm moving over to page, this is page Tough Yud Gimel, for those of you who are reading this. And uh, we got to a place which is called the Rai Mahemna. Rai Mahemna is Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu is able to appear physically or whatever physical form you would say that these people that are in the yeshiva of Rebbe Shimon are able to see him. And he begins to speak. He says, Rai Mahemna, again, it means faithful shepherd. That is our leader, Moshe Rabbeinu. The Kudadol is Sandrach Kahanda Bakal Yom Abud Sindach of the Bebe Mekdisha. Uh, so I'm supposed to be learning down here in the Mount of Bedevash. It will get a little bit easier. He says, Mitzvah Zu, Ishi Yisadrach HaKohen B'Kol Yom HaNeiruz B'Beisach HaMikdash. The Kohen has to come and light the candles every day in the base of Mikdash. Behind the Hatavas HaNeiruz U V'Chad L'Kosim. That is, he has to take out the old part of the candles the part that's used up already, and bring in new in order to be able to light them. Vohu kim the baraz of the menorah. So this has been talked about in other places where we talk about the secrets of the menorah. Now we've talked about the secret of menorah in different places. And it's similar to what we learn up above. Now what does he mean there? So the concept of lighting the seven candles, whose sod ha'aras ha'sheva sviras al yonah dezir anpin. This is the concept of the shining of the seven sviras, upper sviras of zir anpin. Now, what does he mean? The upper sviras. He mean does he mean keser, chafabina, das, ches and gevura? What does he mean? So how do we get this? So he says, uh, etc. He says, uh, the Ferris has shed the Paris of the begin the Nihirari law, the Shah Rabo. What does that mean? The fee shall or how El Yon shall the ain self bar of shall Eric Anpin. Now, Eric Anpin is the middle column of light. It is the light that is closest to the ain self bar hole. And it is the basis of all reality. Everything else is built around this. You want to know how it's Hashem, I need Hashem, but care of Aretz. That's through Eric Anpin, because Eric Anpin is panimi to everything. But beside, be inside of Eric Anpin, then you have greater, greater lights, which are, uh, and again, I, I think, uh, just digressing a little bit, light, the greater light is the lesser light in Kabbalah. In other words, the light of the Ain Self is, is a non-light. But nonetheless, it has the power within it. It is the outlight of energy. So he said, how that is, I don't know. Shall Eric Anpin, Mayor B'Shem and the Mishka Shabachochma, it shines, that light, the light of Eric Anpin, which has been naming to everything. So think like this, Eric Anpin, then Chochma, Bina, and then then, then uh, 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 Zer Anpin and Nukva, and like that it goes, you have Zer Anpin, excuse me, Eric Anpin is Panimi inside of everything. Nachis al Reisha the Gahanda Begad Misa. So this light, this is the light that comes onto the head of the uh, of the Kohen. Vuhu Yared Derech Bina comes through Bina, as we explained previously. Al Rosh HaKohen into the head of the Kohen, Shuhu HaChesed is their Anpin Techila, which comes to the Chesed side of their Anpin to begin with. Now understand, their Anpin is a maskala. It's a balance scale. When things are bad, the left side is dominated, and it's a side of Din. When things are good and the blessing is flowing that's the right side but the light side and the middle always work together that way they want to bring balance the balance of kindness so this is the first where we get to the 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 the, uh, the reception of of the flow of the ain't of baruch through eric anpin into mal into chokhma and then ultimately into bina the Basar Ihu Adlik Va'an here called Bhutanim, and then after we recognize this flow, that's where we see the lighting of all of these candles. Bahar Kahu Madlik Mitzad Aisha Bina, so he takes from the fire of Bina, Bina's on the left side. The left side is the side of Gavura. O Mayor Mitzad Or Hachma and then start shining into the side of the Chokhmah. As Kal Hanero Shahem Azayan Spheros, and it shines into all of the candles. The candles are the secret 
of the seven spheros Keneget Hazayin Kane HaMenorah. What are the seven spheros? Chesed Gevur, Teferis, Netzach, Hod, Yesod, and Malchus. That is Zeranpim. Dech Siv V'Shemen Atov Ala Rosh, that the good Shemen on the head. Pirus, Pirush. Keshefa HaShemen. Just like the bounty or the flow of oil, Hanimshach Techila, which flows originally, Ala Chesed. Where does it go first? The oil of the Ainsot Baruch Hu flows originally and beginning on the side of the right, the side of Chesed. Shuha Rosh Varisha La Zion Spheros, which is the first, the head, and the first of all of the seven spheros as are Antim the Ksiv Od Gazov, and besides that is written, Ki Shemen Mishchas Alokavalov, He Sahvagam Kam Pirush uh, milas Allah, that on top of it, Haina Lamala al Gabi Hachesed, that is coming, a flow that is coming, he just said, from Eric Anpin into, into Chochmah, into Bina, and then onto the right side of Zer Anpin, which is the side of the Kohen. Let's read a little bit more, just a little bit more. And this will be our final shear for this week. So therefore, permission is given only to the Kohen. Nitan Rishus the Kohen Levado, the Sadra Butsinim, in order to, he has to be the one that sets up the candles. Lahiti Visanera Shehem Siduram, Shuhu Siduram, that he puts them in their order, order, their proper order. Velo Nitan Rishus the Yisrael, and it's never given permission to the Jew, to the ordinary Jew, or let's not say order, nobody's ordinary. Even though that he's not bringing a carbon, he's not offering a Taurus. And to, to light them every day, twice. And then after that, to light them. Two different times. In order to get the light of that that light, two times. Kenega the Aras Ayichod and the Asib Pasuk, that in order to be able to receive the light, what light, what light comes, and we see this if you're learning with us in any of the place, other places, we're talking about Shema. The Shema is the beginning of the, uh, of the Mohin, the Godless. Ayichod and the Asib Pasuk, Shema Yisuch of Shtei Pa'amim we have to do this twice a day, and it also corresponds to the two times that, that, uh, he says we offer these car these car carbonos day and night, and he also has to fix the candles day and night. Carbon uh, is a carbona called Yoma Trenzim Nim Kanega the Kar Akravas a Carmen Atomid. So we have a carbon atomid that he brings twice every day. Bakal Yom Shte Pamim, Bakula Itzrich, everything is necessary, has to all be like that. Bakol Khoyit Sarkla Asos Bain Yiko the Kriishman, the S has to be done. Between the time of the Yichud that takes place at Kriya Shema, Bein Halakas and Neros, and I guess it means not in between the time, but it means whether we're talking about uh, the Kriya Shema, which brings us a Shefa in of Godless, Vein Halakas and Neros, which is also the same contract concept, because what we're talking about Godless is is Eric Anpin, the Hochma, Hochma, the Bina, Bina to Zer Anpin, and Zer Anpin first receives in Chesed, that's the place of the Kohen. So this is the last one right here, the last paragraph, and we'll get through this and we'll see where we're standing. And through the Kohen, Isha Chesed, who represents Chesed, this causes the shine, the lights to shine in every place. Bain Lamala, the Zion spheres to Zeranpen, and he means to say in Olamatzilus, which is the Zion spheres of Zeranpen. Or what we're talking to down below in the nor itself, in the menor itself. She sowed Hamalchus Aniquis Basheva, who is also called with the name of the daughter of seven. Malchus is the seventh sphera of Zeranpin. the Malchus, and you shine then seven candles, these seven candles of the menorah, Beshevis Sephiras, the Malchus of the seven spheras of Malchus. Now I'm not sure exactly what that meant. By your days and through this, so I guess when he said, I don't know what he means by the seven spheres of Malchus. Malchus is the seven spheres, the seven sphera. Maybe he means to say that Malchus also has seven spheres. Malchus has ten spheres, but we're talking about the zero unpin of Malchus. I don't know. 
So he does all of this in order to make it possible from the side of Kaptoris that we could have a tremendous joy. The Ishtatka Khaidh Bukal Sikrin Bad Lukusak the Bootsin. The 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 shit tim sarah simcha a simcha but call it a dan and that simcha should be everywhere. Not just in Chesed, but in Chesed and Gavur and Teferis and Natsar and Hod and Yesod and then ultimately in Malchus. Because it's a Danim Al Yide Am Shachas Hashem Bahad Lakas and there is by how? By the, this, this, he was said before, this idea that the Kohanim, the Hashem speaks to the Kohanim in a whisper. The whisper means here, I think, the, the connection to his Kavana. That his Kavana is that he's going to bring the Shefa down. The whole Trin Elon al Yudah the Kohanim. So we're going to talk about that later. He says this is what's over going on. Shahai Babas Achas always this was always at one time. Hoya Ayyadah Bakoin, all of this happened through the agency of the Kohen. Kade Lihimat says Simcha Bakalazadim and all this should be sim simcha everywhere. Ki heim ma'oradim as ham shah shafa because what are you talking about? In other words, there's a gavura which is din, but there's also a gavura which is a sweetened din. The gavura by itself is pure din. But on the other hand, our main work, and then one of the main works that we do is a sweeten, to sweeten that din, because you need din. Din is a part of creation. She maybe simcha because the olamas and bring simcha in all of the old worlds and bring simcha into din. Inu nad lakusa the bootsina, the the bootsina. And this goes with the with the lighting of the candles. The kataras ve'elochem and also kataras ve'elochem ad lakas and nevi v'kataras and also order offering the sweet incense. All of this is for the purpose of bringing the Shefa in and sweetening the dinin. Shehein babas achas, they both happened at the same time. Kamosha kasa, vehitivos aneiros, yakirano. So this are the two words, the hitivos aneiros, that fixing up the menorah and also offering the inside, the incense go together. The whole kimna, we've explained this, we've already explained this, we've already explained this, we've already explained this, we've already explained this, what's it written? Shemin, the guitarist, the samach lev, the shemin, the guitarist, they make the heart happy. He ain't simple mebal mebal mebaladei shenehem. The real true simcha comes from two different things. One is the menorah, which represents the flow of the life in the ain sof baruch through Eric Anpin, and as we said before, in Chochma and Bina, into Zer Anpin, into first the Chesed, but then through all of the spheres, all the way down to Malchus, and ultimately, since that is the template for our world, even though we're very physical and not part of not close in that sense, to bring the simcha even here. This is Baruch Fleischmann. This has been the week of Parshas Amor.